Hello guys, today I'm going to be uh, basically going over how to install mods on Boneworks. Now, before we start, uh, if you'd like to check my Twitch, it will be in the link in the description. And the mods that I install, um, well, installed, will be in the link in the description as well. Uh, I only have like two mods currently. <laughs> this is like a fresh restart, so I don't have many mods. And I've just been on my VR, so yeah. Anyways, let's start. Before we actually get into any of this, make sure you have your Steam open, please, for the love of God. It saves time. It is not me trying to have a go at you, just simply saying, make sure you have Steam open. Uh, and yeah, so or you could just do it without opening Steam, but honestly, Steam is honestly much faster than actually trying to locate your Boneworks through your fucking f uh, drives and that. Right click on Boneworks. Now, you should get an option to go to manage and browse local files. Now, if you don't, it's fine. Don't worry, don't panic. Keep you cool. <laughs> don't break anything. <laughs> don't rage. <laughs> just calm down. Go to properties, go to installed files. And here at the top you should see size on the installation uh, and this is the actual size and this is which drive it's located on or I guess disk if you want to call it uh, that you can call it driver disk I don't, honestly don't know don't care doesn't matter click browse now here it will obviously open up your directory where Boneworks is installed now you ain't gonna see any of like the executable files and you're gonna be like yo where is this i'm trying i'm trying to install mods over here what is this there's another file well yes don't worry just double click on it and that just solves all your problems and you get everything right here now you should have uh, Melanuda already installed and if you didn't check out my previous video but anyways if you don't have that installed make sure to go check out <laughs> the video and yeah uh so once you've done that um and you've run the execute uh program you should get these folders obviously you, i don't think you, you should get user data actually but you won't get custom mounts custom mounts custom audio in that you'll have to create the folder yourself so i don't know how that <laughs> how that works yet so i'll make another video on that probably but yeah so what you want to do is you want to go to mods folder now whoa now i have two mods and that's the audio replacer and mod that is not mod now what do these do well the audio replacer just replaces the gun sounds like every gun sound it just replaces it with a, a different noise now um to do this you would obviously need to get a gun sound pack for this because obviously just dragging one dll in there isn't going to change your gun sound it's just going to make it so when you drag the folder from the gun sound pack in like the contents inside that folder it will just re automatically i think and should replace all the gun sounds now once you've done that uh you should be able to well you should have mod that is not mod now what this does is it basically gives you a boneworks menu now in that menu you can basically get a well you should have a menu anyways but anyways you should get like an entity gun uh you should be able to pick out an entity gun and you can equip it then open the menu which i think it will say entity menu not sure and you can select like ammo boxes and if you just installed mod that is not mod you're only gonna have ammo boxes you ain't gonna have any custom guns whatsoever or items it's just, just gonna simply be ammo boxes now obviously i left a link in the description for audio replacer just in case you want to do uh, download it i've already downloaded it as you can see right here so i've got it located right over here now i'm not going to drag this in and replace uh it so i'm just going to go over what you need to do now honestly you don't need to mess with the manifest or the icon png as you don't really want to change that and i've just opened the json file so now just give me a second for microsoft visual studio to open this is what i hate i click on something that i don't want to click on I, I click on a file that i 
honestly just want to leave alone i don't want to do any changes uh you can see dependencies in there uh, i guess you can click on it and check the dependencies make sure you have it on microsoft visual studio though anyways click on the mods folder and you'll see auto replacer just drag that uh in and that's simple i'm not gonna drag it in for me it's nine uh kilobytes which i don't know why it's nine it should be eight but honestly i'm not complaining it's just one kilobyte more but yeah here we've got plugins. Now, if you have a plugin, you just put plugins in there and it'll simply automatically load up as Melon Loader is programmed to, to do that. Now, in user data, you can. I think this is how you do it. You just create folders. I'm not sure and drag them in, but for some reason, this map isn't working, so I need to fix that. But, uh, yeah. And that's really it, I think. I mean, you don't want to do anything inside the Boneworks data, Melon Loader. Nothing here, I mean, you can see the dependencies, I mean, you don't have to do anything there. But that, I think that's just how you install, you know, the mods. I mean, it works for me. If it doesn't work for you, make sure you, you go over this video and make sure you did everything correctly. Um, obviously, if you still uh, need more help, there's other videos out there. There's not just my video, there's loads of other videos that should be able to help you um and yeah that's really just how to install mods um and this video is six minutes long it, it, that felt like 10 minutes i can't lie that felt like an eternity anyways but yeah that's you know how you you uh that's how you download uh, and install the mods anyways twitch uh, twitch channel down below um recommend in the comments what games i should play because i honestly have a bad taste in games so hopefully you guys have better taste than me which you guys probably will uh but yeah and honestly i'm tired so i'm probably either gonna hop to bed or just relax i don't honestly know but i'm tired so Anyways, probably see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Try to make the day count. Don't just lay back lying around. Lazing around, I mean. Just do something, alright? All you got to do is just do something, you know? Don't be scared to do it. If you have a fair, uh, fear, <laughs> try to overcome it. I'm currently starting right, uh, right now. But yeah, I should stop talking and just end this video. So, honestly, I'll just see you. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Uh, hope uh, you you make your day count. Uh, hope your future is bright. Uh, and I hope luck arrives your way on your doorstep. See ya.